Yo, what's good, Gertie Gang? Is Gertie back with another video? And I ain't gonna lie, I'm extra geek for this one, bro. We got the rating subscribers outfit number 21, which is crazy. I know it's been a real long time since the last time we did one of these, but we gonna get straight into it. I got some crazy heat that y'all showed me in these hashtags, bro. So for those of you that are new, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of how we operate over here. Basically what I do is one, I usually show people's clothing brands that they send in. That way you guys can kind of get some free promotion because I feel like the more that y'all support me, I love to just give back. And if I can give you guys any value in any type of way, whether it's showing off your clothes or showing off your guys' personal outfits, that's what I would like to do here. So typically I would do a portion of showing off brands that you guys have sent into my PO box. So if you would like to do that, or you would like to get your items on my channel that's how you would do it now for today's video in particular i am going to replace that portion with showing outfits off that you guys have made using my brand which is the ultimate support that you guys could ever give me bro like it honest from the bottom of my heart i'm so glad that y'all enjoy the products that i'm making and are wearing them with fire outfits we're gonna get into the first fit but those that are new Basically what we do over here is we use a fly scale. So either your fit is a one on the fly scale, which means it's kind of trash, bruh. And then you got a five on the fly scale, which means it's fire. So that's how we run it over here. We gonna get into the first outfit and we got a fit by Born A Loser has put this beautiful outfit together using a heavy bat necklace. So you know I had to sew the fit off. Yo, basically he comboed this in the most rockstar way possible, bruh. So he has a graphic tee underneath which looks very, very edgy and matches the rest of the vibe of the outfit. Leather pants, chain on the pants, then you got the Doc Martens Rick Owens collab. So he really went crazy with this outfit to kind of spice the whole thing. It looks like he got like some leather gloves or something like that, or just something that he cut out and made into gloves and then he got the crazy shades to match. So y'all already know what I gotta give this outfit. I'm gonna give it a five on the fly scale. You know I had, you, come on bro. You know I had to do it, plus the outfit is hard. Now the next outfit that I gotta get into is one by my boy Lil Donnie. Now I ain't gonna lie. He been going crazy on the gram, bro. He done probably posted the most fit pics in the heavy bat necklace. So I got to give my respect to him, bro. He been going crazy, but the outfit is just as hard. Now, if you look closely, you know what I'm saying? Of course, he got the bat necklace. But, yo, I know that zipper from anywhere, bro. And this zipper right here is a Chrome Hearts hoodie. So the boy got on a Chrome Hearts hoodie and Daniel looks like he got on some Rick pants, if I'm not mistaken. And then he got on the Rick Owens Ramon. So he really ricked out and blacked it out in the hardest way possible. He even got his girl sauced up, you know what I'm saying? So definitely a fly picture just because they outfits kind of match and both got the same edgy vibe. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a cool four and a half on the fly scale. If I could do like a 4.7, I do like a 4.7. Maybe I'll like make the bat look a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we're going we gonna to rock with the boy Lil Donnie. Now, the next person that we got on the list, I'm not going to pronounce the name, even though I can kind of see how it's supposed to be pronounced. But we got FXCKT9. And he did it the most creative way because he wore the bat necklace as like a jean chain. You know what I'm saying? And yo, keep this on the low, bro. I'm going to let y'all in on a little secret. We got bad keychains coming soon. Hey, I, I, you didn't hear it here. Keep that on the low, bro. I know that y'all, this is the gang right here. So I know that y'all ain't gonna tell everybody because when it drops, it's gonna drop. But just know, we got them joints coming. But nah, in all honesty, this fit is hard. He ricked the entire thing out. I actually went and tried on this Rick Owens puffer that he has on in the, uh, I guess it's called like a gillet or the vest version of this with the whole zip up and everything and it's just a hard jacket so he has that i believe he has on a gimp hoodie underneath and then he has on the seisty the rick on seisty bruh so he really going crazy he got a pair of ricks for the shoes too i'm gonna just assume that the jeans is rick at this point but like he ricked the entire thing out and threw the chain on with it so y'all already know I, this is a five this is a five i ain't gonna lie it's a five this is a five on the fly scale I, I, 
he went crazy. Now next up we got the boy Lord of the Sad and Lonely. Now he, along with Lil Donnie, they probably got like neck and neck of like posting the most fit pics with the chain. But this joint right here was one of my favorites just because I feel like not only was it an all black fit, but I feel like he paired it with a bunch of cool things. Now, of course he has on the heavy bat necklace. And then underneath that, um, I forget what this brand is called. House of Terrors, right? The one with the eye and they make like the crazy puffer jacks and stuff like that. So he has the hoodie underneath, not sure what hoodie is on top of that, but then he has another puffer layer as a third layer, which is hard. So the whole combo of this and layering was fire i feel like he matched the width of the pants on top of these geo baskets is what it looks like so definitely a cool look he has on some accessories with the shades the hat and some headphones with gloves i believe yeah he even went crazy with the motocross gloves bruh so i'm gonna have to go ahead and get a boy i'm gonna get us a solid like four on the flight scale i think he probably could have just accessorized a little less if it was me personally i probably would have maybe switched or put like a more calm hat and or interchange the glasses with something else but that's just me personally now next up we got leo chapter so he along with everybody else has the heavy bat necklace and he combined it with a more casual athleisure type of look which kind of plays in the streetwear as well. So basically he has on a Blackhawks jersey, which definitely is something different now. I really don't see people wearing too many hockey jerseys with their outfits, but he got on the Chicago Blackhawks hockey jersey. He got on a blasted pair of wide leg denims, which you already know I'm a huge fan of. And then I'm not quite sure what shoes these are. No, these are the, um, what's the brand, bro? These are the 424 joints, I think. So he got on the 424. I actually was had my eye out on those maybe like a year or two ago. I ain't gonna lie. So hey, he went crazy with the fit. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what hat that is, but overall, I think it's a cool, calm, casual fit. Um, especially if you're going to a sports event. So I'm definitely gonna give it a three and a half on the fly scale. Now, next up, we got my boy Fernie Ruiz. Now, hey, I gonna lie, this joint right here is definitely crazy just because it's not even a full fit, but you can see how well he articulated all of the accessories that he has going on. It's actually kind of mismatchy as far as the glasses and the shirt, but for whatever reason, pulls together really nice. So he has on a Kango hat right here and that little nice fuzzy texture you know what i'm saying i don't know what type of glasses these are but they definitely are wild and on the edge of your side and as far as his jewelry his jewelry is really what makes the outfit and i'm not just saying that because he got on a bat necklace but if you look at his rings he has a nose piercing he has um gauges in his ear with a crazy like dangling earring he mixed in some other jewelry pieces as far as the neck piece and a bracelet and got on like a biker jacket so overall the outfit's crazy i thought it just looked really wild and intriguing with it not being the full fit so definitely had to throw it in there since it's not a full fit i can't judge it fully so i'm gonna give it three and a half on the fly scale and we're gonna move on now next up we got the boy foss man if y'all know foss if y'all watch my older videos you know that he was doing a lot of the filming for me and stuff like that he was my roommate as well out here so you already know how to throw the boy in here but i ain't gonna lie i styled a fit so i had to get him fly we actually took these pics a long time ago um we did like a little runway thing and he shot it with my boy terreno so if you see my tiktok it's on tiktok but this fit right here is hard. He has on, of course, the reversible bat beanie. He has a necklace on as well, though you can't really see it right here. And then he has on some of the clothes that I let him wear, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't even gonna speak too much. The boy went crazy. Y'all didn't know the vibes, man. I'm gonna give him a, I'm gonna give him a 10 on the fly scale because it's my clothes. Now, next up, we got another one of my brothers, man. I got my boy, John Wick nephew, real name, let's say it. So, yo, he went crazy with the fit as well. He got on the heavy bat necklace and he just has on, you know what I'm saying, Playboy bunny hat. You know what I'm saying? I, I know he in the bin with it. He gotta be in the bin with it, right? I think so. But he got on the wide leg jeans, what looks like a vintage varsity jacket, and then you already know he got the dunks on. So, the boy went crazy. Y'all already know, I'm giving the boy, I'm, I'm gonna give it a solid like, 
I'm gonna give it a four and a half on the fly scale. And speaking of uh, another one of my brothers, man, I had to put these back to back, bro. So I got my boy Tyler on here, man. So he went reversible bat beanie and dang near my Sam probably took these picks. I ain't gonna lie. But now nah, to get into the fit, of course we got the beanie. We got the bat chain as well. Then we got a gray hoodie to match the, the hat, even though it's like, it's white. But like, I feel like because it's knit, it has black underneath, it kind of comes off as a little gray. So the hoodie match is perfect. Then he got on the puffer jacket on top of that. And then he has on camo pants with the forces. So it's like a classic little drip for Tyler. I ain't gonna lie, this is life for him, bro. Y'all gotta go through his page and see his fits and stuff like that. I think personally, I might have would have switched the pants and had like some wide leg black joints. But other than that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and give it a four and a flat scale. Moving on, we got a fit by Real Aaron 10. And he has a video for this. So I low key wanna play the video instead of the image, but I'm gonna be looking at the image. But what he has on is what looks like a, a full body jumpsuit, kind of like that Rick Owens joint. I don't know if you guys ever seen it, but it's like a full body jumpsuit. He has on like another, zipped layer underneath that and then has on the bat chain so really it's like the, the chain really stands out and i think it's dope so i'm going to give the boy a solid i think he really set the tone of the type of imagery that i was going for with the chain so i'm going to go ahead and give it like a four and a half on the fly scale now next up we got jordan hendrix now he got a nice calm fit with the reversible bat beanie bro i ain't gonna lie um i'm not quite sure what type of shirt that is it definitely has like some text here and there kind of looks kind of asymmetrical or just like placed in different areas but i think it's dope he has on a white pair of jeans and then he has on some air maxes so super calm fit i'm sure he'd be going crazy with the fits i think that i'm gonna personally give it like probably like a three on a fly scale i think he's real calm with it i don't think he was trying too hard but it's still effortlessly dope you feel me moving on we got another beanie fit by my boy pretty boy waffles now this drink right here is calm as well it kind of looks very thrifted and vintage so of course he has on the reversible bat beanie he's wearing it in the black side and on top of that he has on this columbia jacket he has on what looks like some og military cargoes and then i'm not quite sure what shoes that is but um yeah he just got on some white shoes so overall i think it's this was another calm outfit he just you know what i'm saying he just threw that joint on for the day i'm gonna go ahead and give it i'm gonna give it like a three and a fly scale now moving on we got my boy super visual evan and this joint right here is a hard fit he got on the chain so <laughs> he put out he it's a couple of slides with the chain so maybe i'll mix and match um, the different looks that he gave, but I think this look is very dope. I'm actually wondering where he got this jacket or even if it is a jacket, it almost looks like it could be a cardigan. Um, I'm not even sure. I have to like go to the actual Instagram and see what he had on. Cause he has a couple of sides. Okay. So this is a jacket. Got you. Okay. This is like a biker jacket, like a race jacket, which is crazy. So I'm not even sure what type of pattern he probably thrifted that joint he has on that plus he has on these fully breakaway button down pants which are fire and then has doc martens under that so i really like how he blacked out this outfit he really played along with the different metals and textures of you know what i'm saying just materials so i'm gonna give it i'm gonna give this a solid i'm gonna give this a three and a half on the fly scale as well so that is it for the section of everybody that supported my brand and products and stuff like that moving on in the future when i do these videos whenever i'm dropping new stuff which will be very soon if y'all put an outfit on instagram you'll instantly be in one of these videos like i'm pretty sure i included almost everybody that took some type of picture and posted it but we're gonna move into some of the outfits that didn't have my own products you know what i'm saying i can't make the entire video about my friends so we're gonna go ahead and move into the next outfit which is by actonio kills now the entire vibe of this outfit i'm gonna lie it's hard like i don't know if he's in like it looks like he's almost in front of like a church or an abandoned building or something like that but he has on like the most uk looking outfit that just i don't know maybe it's maybe it's the skirt or the full fur coat but like he just went absolutely crazy with this one i i love the colors i love how the yellow knit that he has underneath matches the red and the brown so well even the boots are like a very rick owens-esque boot that just i don't even think that they're ricks 
but it just it, it gives that vibe bro i don't know what it is so i'm gonna definitely have to give him a five on a fly scale with this outfit very creative very cohesive very nice moving on we got young october x and this was just another one of those black on black workwear outfits that i thought was just dope um he didn't really do too much but he paid close attention to his proportions and just the overall way to put together an all black outfit so he got the workwear jacket on top of a black t-shirt then he has on a very nice fitting pair of black denims and then what looks like a black boot not quite sure what brand or anything like that but then he has a toe and some glasses so i think he just played it really smooth with this i'm gonna go ahead and give it a four on the fly scale moving on we got baby face cash k now this shirt right here is a very nice fit i very much like how he plays with the colors i know we can kind of get a little tired of the all black so i had to throw in a little bit of color in this joint so right here he has on this cactus plant flea market flannel which is very very hard um he has of course the smiley faces on both sides he has a t-shirt underneath that i'm not quite sure what the graphic is his hair is kind of covering it which makes it really cool to be honest but then he has on like a baggier pair of jeans that kind of look a little beat that gives it a little bit more of a grunge vibe you feel me and then he has on of course and he has on of course the lava so overall this outfit is very very calm but but done well so i'm gonna give it like a solid four and a half on the fly scale now moving on y'all know i had to include a couple of ladies because you know what i'm saying i know it's not only dudes in the game you feel me so this next outfit is by lydia gracie and i think that she just did a very cool job of just mixing colors and accessories and keeping Keeping it really nice you know what i'm saying so right here we got a full outfit and she did leave the tags of what the brand she's wearing so the glasses are asos and that cream matches the pants very very well pants are by mars the label and then she has on a skims top underneath to kind of like bring those tans and dark colors together and then has a very nice zara jacket outside of that so overall i think it's a calm outfit i think it looks really well with the setting that she's in so dope outfit i'm gonna go ahead and give it four and a half on the fly scale moving on we have black shadow now of course you know what i'm saying he ricked the whole thing out now i'm not sure if everything is rigged but i do know that he got on the fuzzy geo basket joints which are very very hard so mixing that with the leather pants and what looks like a leather vest and then he has on this crazy like scarf hoodie system which is just hard bro like wherever you got that let me know because i might need that joint but um yeah that this is a fire outfit i don't know if he maximized black outfits like i don't know if this is the craziest black outfit i've ever seen but it definitely is very hard so i'm gonna give it a four on a fly scale now moving on we have lucia meyer now this joint right here is another all black outfit i promise i didn't do this on purpose bro i just picked two outfits that i liked but um this outfit is hard man she has on this crazy black coat that has fur lined within it and then she has on these black boots which are like knee high boots so i think it's dope how she combined the whole overall black and black aesthetic with a longer jacket and she has a prada bag very smooth outfit very calm she kept it simple but elegant at the same time so i'm gonna go ahead and give it a four and a half on the fly scale now this next outfit i don't know what it was about it but i really gravitated towards it and it is by eddie is two feet tall and i think it's just the vintage aspect of it that it just feels very naturally vintage it doesn't feel like one of those who i have one vintage today it just really looks like yo this is what i like this is where i shop and I, i'm just you know what i'm saying this is my everyday joint so i definitely think it's dope i think the only thing that doesn't look vintage obviously is like the beanie but i feel like green and that kind of like tan color goes perfectly with the brown and denim so he went crazy bro and then he smoothed it out with the boots and the over the shoulder back so i'm gonna go ahead and give this a solid four on a fly scale so now we're kind of getting towards the end we have a fit by jordan edition and i really just like how he played on the colors this is a very good example of a monochromatic outfit but in a way to where like the tones are drastically dark and then much lighter so of course he has on a bunch of different color and shades of yellows and browns even the shades and the glasses just, it just he just went crazy bro i ain't gonna lie so color palette 
immaculate. I'm definitely gonna give it a four and a half from the fly scale. Now, the next one is probably the best proportions of any of the fits that I've shown so far. And it is by, I think, JV, JVI. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, but my boy, you went crazy with the proportions of this outfit. So basically what he has on is this cycle by, I think it's MYOB. That whole bomber jacket is insane. Like I remember seeing it a while ago and being like, yo, who designed this? And they have like a bunch of other stuff that just has circles, but that's neither here nor there. The outfit is crazy. I love the way that he layered it. Um, he has on the FF Postal Service pants, which has a beautiful cut right along on top of these Montclair boots, which I have been on the lookout for forever, but haven't been able to find them in my size. So my boy, if you are wearing a size 11 and would like to sell them to me, the DMs are open. But overall, dope outfit. Um, I will show you guys a view from the front. You can just see like another aspect of layering. The entire fit looks beautiful. I'm gonna give this a five on a fly scale. He paid very great attention to everything in this outfit. And moving on, I wanted to throw in this fit because I feel like the proportions were also done well, but for whatever reason, it felt like a few things were missing. So we're gonna get into this outfit by Vine Fits. And he has on very calm colors as far as tones and everything. So he has on this like military green hoodie, a washed black bomber jacket, and then he has on a military green pair of cargos, which have a very beautifully like cut to them that's kind of like a boot cut but a little flary at the same time so definitely cool it goes right over these very bulky boots so i feel like the proportions were done very great there is something missing i don't like it's it's tough to say but i feel like sometimes outfits are kind of either missing a logo or an element of layering that kind of gives your eyes something else to look at so it doesn't feel so plain. Now, I will say he has on accessories as far as glasses and a bag, but what he doesn't have is any sort of like standout jewelry. Like this outfit needs one good pop. It could have been a hat, it could have been maybe opening up the bomber and layering the hoodie with like some different layers. I don't know what it is, but the proportions were done so well that I'm kind of disappointed that it doesn't have the full effect. But overall, I'm gonna give it probably like a three and a half on the fly scale. Now, last but not least, we have seven us, one us, I guess is how you would pronounce that. But um, the boy got on a brand that I just recently talked about and it's the No Face Studios jeans. So I definitely like how he paired those along on top of those glue shoes, the joints that look like it got <laughs> glue all over it yeah he got them joints on and it honestly adds like a crazy bulk to the whole entire outfit not quite sure what the puffer jacket is but the puffer jacket looks nice as well i think he has on a celine kind of like pouch on the neck and then he has just like a face covering so very calm outfit but this like i said the setting is what makes the outfits look good a lot of the times and I feel like he chose a cool place to take these outfit pictures. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a four and a half on a fly scale. But that is pretty much it for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure that you share this video to any of your friends who would like to be in it or anybody else that you just think would support the channel and like showing their outfits off and stuff like that. These videos are literally for y'all. So the better these videos do, the better your exposure will be. So make sure you comment, make sure you drop down your Instagram if I need to come check you out for the next video, do all of that. But that's pretty much it for the video. I'll be back to you guys with more, man. Peace.